signs you're not listening. Number one, you're interrupting, <laughs> right? Interrupting. And the interrupting piece, you could be trying to relate. You could be interrupting because you go, oh my gosh, I went to that school. Or, oh my gosh, my cousin went to that school. And you're just really excited, but you're now dominating. You're dominating the situation and it can feel like you're not listening or you're not, you don't care about what they have to say. So you could have good intentions, but you could interrupt by relating or by debating. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know if I agree with that, actually, with that understanding or that perception. And you cut them off and you don't even let them finish their, their full point. So they don't even get a chance to, to share a full point. We see this on the news all the time, right? Just people going back and forth. They don't get, even get to share a full thought and the other person just uh, railroads them, debating them or changing the topics, right? And that's kind of what I talked about earlier with the two monologues. And, you know, they're talking about something. You're like, yeah, well, blah, 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 blah and you just bring up a totally different thing, that shows them that you are not listening to them. Uh, a second sign that you're not listening is playing with devices, right? We're, we're sitting there, right? It buzzes, it goes, they pick it up, they have to, I'm sorry, I got to take this, right? That does not make you feel like any like a person's listening to you, like they're, they're interested in what you're saying. Uh, and then the third one, Guilty, guilty of this one, right? <laughs> is uh, asking to repeat frequently. <laughs> I'm sorry, can you say that again? <laughs> they know that you were not listening to them if, uh, if, you, if you do those three things. So we must be intent on active listening.